So where do you draw the line when it comes to technology? Don't worry, this isn't another story about the Amish and how they shun electricity, cars, and phones. It's about how here in rural Pennsylvania is a hitching post, and then just 50 yards away is an iron torn DNA sequencer. Genomic medicine has managed to transform this community, but keep their traditions intact. The Amish and Mennonite opposition to technologies has nothing to do with technology per se. It is really a protest against the ways in which technology isolate us from each other in the modern world. In the case of medical science, if they can see the community uh, building and the fruits of medical technology in very tangible ways in their family, they're very supportive of it. When you left the food ray, you want me to take that? Yeah, no, I don't need to take that. I need to yeah. We are uh, continually identifying about 10 new genetic diseases each year in our laboratory. We have really changed the public health uh, landscape for this population. Our services uh, on a budget of about 1.7 million dollars a year save the communities about 20 million dollars a year in medical costs. So yes, this is a next generation sequencing platform. Adam Heaps, our lab scientist. We know a lot about the human genome. Much of that information is publicly available. The real fruits of genomic medicine are in the science of implementation. How do you implement what we know? How do you leverage what we know to actually change people's lives? One of the ways we assure good outcomes is to stand by this, these patients' sides, be available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, if they need help, if they need therapy, and make sure that that information pays off. Make sure that we take advantage of that predictive power to keep that person healthy.